this video, you'll see how to monitor the performance of your Amazon Elastic Container Service or Amazon ECS applications using CloudWatch Container Insights. With Container Insights, you can aggregate and summarize metrics from your containerized applications, allowing you to troubleshoot your Amazon ECS clusters by isolating specific issues. Before you can begin monitoring your applications, you need to ensure CloudWatch Container Insights is enabled in your region. Let's navigate to the Amazon ECS console and check the account settings. The setting we are looking for is at the bottom of the page. This setting needs to be enabled before you deploy an application if you want to monitor it with CloudWatch Container Insights by default. In this case, Container Insights has been enabled. You can also learn about configuring CloudWatch Container Insights by reviewing the documentation. Let's return to the Amazon ECS Clusters page. As you can see, we've already set up an application running as an Amazon ECS Cluster, and the cluster has already been set up to take advantage of CloudWatch Container Insights. Let's drill down to see the metrics for this cluster. This Metrics tab is where metrics on cluster resources were previously reported. Only a few metrics were available, such as CPU utilization and memory utilization. Since this information is now being aggregated by CloudWatch Container Insights instead, these metrics are blank. Now let's look at the new Container Insights dashboard, which you can easily view with the click of a button. The new Container Insights dashboard provides a more extensive and customizable metrics display and a wider range of information, including CPU and memory utilization, task and service counts, storage and network performance, and container instance counts for clusters, services, and tasks. You can sort the data in different ways, such as by services. As you can see, this application has three different services running, and data can be viewed for each service. You can select an instance name in the legend to filter the page for that instance. You can also sort by tasks. Let's filter the tasks to focus solely on the front-end service. Now let's test the responsiveness of our metrics by simulating a change in the cluster environment. We can do that using AWS Cloud9. AWS Cloud9 is a cloud-based integrated development environment with direct terminal access to Amazon Web Services. Let's simulate putting a moderate load on the application. We'll do that by running this script, which will constantly attempt to load the web page. Let's refresh the dashboard and see whether it changes. As you can see, CPU utilization has increased. Over the next few minutes, we can see the other metrics fluctuate as we put additional load on the cluster. Now let's put a greater load on our application. This time, we'll run the Apache Bench application to perform a load test. Let's refresh the dashboard again. You can see that CPU utilization has increased significantly, this time to nearly 100%. Let's scroll down to look at some of the other information provided by the dashboard. Here, you can view a list of all running tasks and their performance metrics, along with the container each task is associated with. For deeper analysis, you can select a task and open its performance logs directly in CloudWatch Logs Insights. Each node can be expanded to show all the data that is being collected in the logs. You can also run your own custom queries. For example, 
This query will summarize the container performance data by time period. You can also write queries to analyze other aspects of an Amazon ECS cluster, such as resource utilization, to help right-size container tasks. You've just seen how to monitor the performance of your Amazon ECS applications using CloudWatch Container Insights. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.